You've probably noticed that a lot of lawyers seem to prefer the nth day of month, comma, year format for displaying dates. But if you go to the Insert tab and click on Date Time, that format's nowhere to be found. But you can build that format as a self-updating date and even save it for future use. On the Insert tab, click Quick Parts and choose Field. Within the Field dialog box, select Date and Time under Categories to just show the date and time fields. You've got several different options here, depending on which date you want to display. Date will always show today's date. Create date and print date will obviously show the date the document was first created or last printed, respectively. The date I most often use is Save Date, which displays the date the document was last saved, so I'll choose that here. Now I'm going to choose one of these pre-configured date formats, since this one gets me closest to my desired result. I'll click that one and then click Field Codes down here at the bottom left. Notice this is now showing the guts of the field code, which I'm going to edit up here in the Field Codes box. The eventual string of codes we'll end up with will be in two different parts. The ordinal day of the month, e.g. 5th, in one part, and the month and year will be in another part. So now I'm going to alter this date time picture code to show the month and year with a comma between them, then click OK. Alright, that gets the second part of our date format, but what about the first? I'm going to type space of space and place my cursor where I'd want my ordinal date to go. Then go back to the Insert tab, Quick Parts, Field, Save Date, and choose really any of the date formats here, because all I'm going to preserve out of the date time picture is going to be the day of the month. Then I'll force the day of the month to display as an ordinal date by typing backslash, that's the one that's leaning backwards, asterisk, ordinal, after the D. Then I'll press OK to finish. OK, now I've got my complete ordinal date constructed, so I'll select the entire string and again on the Insert tab, I'll click Quick Parts. Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. I'll name it Ordinal Date and put it into my DES category. So it always shows up near the top above the built-in Quick Parts. And click OK. Now, anytime I need an Ordinal Date of the Month format, I can go to Insert, Quick Parts, and find my ordinal date quick part to insert into my document.